All right, here we are. Shelter's right down in there. A lot of folks here, so not much video. Well, there's a pipe stuck in there. Ice water spring shelter back up over the hill there, just a little base from the shelter. Alrighty. Here we are on day. This is day uh, Wednesday, October the 7th. This is just that way. 2020. Walking out of Ice Water Spring Shelter. Headed to Charlie's Bunyan this morning. It's a mile over here. It's supposed to be, this is where the majority of the people park at Newfound Gap and hike up to this thing. So, pretty good climb out of Newfound Gap yesterday. Evening, I got there early. I started to come down here last night, but I just hung out there at the tent, took me a nap, rested up, made it a good rest day, or rest afternoon. So, now there's a the trail. Looks like the spring runs all the way down the trail, so I better put the phone away. Yep. Now let's see here. Oh. So we can give you guys a little, get a little trail time before I get winded. This is all appears to be downhill here for a little ways. Yep, plenty of water on the trail for sure. It looks like the spring follows the trail. Okay, that looks like a steep slick one. I'm going to turn this thing off. Well, here we are at the turn off to Charlie's Bunyan. AT goes down that way. I'm going to go around here and get one of these spectacular views. Which that is pretty freaking awesome itself right there so let's go on around here and grab this thing and they'll be back over here and head on down the AT this is one of the highlights of the trip get in here about 820 it looks like so let's climb out here and grab this view I gotta put the camera up to climb up that thing Wow, look at that, guys. That is freaking awesome. Ooh, that is so pretty. Mercy. Out to the horizon. It's going out here. I don't know how many people will be here. I don't know how much video I'll shoot out there, but we'll see. That is beautiful. Right, let's get the pack off. We got to get up around a high point. That's for sure. There you go, guys. We'll blind you with the sun first thing. Look at the expanse. Look at the expanse. Charlie's Bunyan. October seventh, two thousand and twenty. Eight twenty-three. A.M. in the morning. Wow, wow, wow. Good night. I'm going to sit down here and take all this in.
that's all the way out to the point, but I think this is far enough for, for an old guy. Yeah, it might not be bad. I might go on out there. We'll see. Let's see why they say control your children. That next sledge down there. Enough to kill you. You feel lucky if you stop there, if you fail. Ooh. There we go. Very beautiful. There's looking up on Charlie's Bunyan. There's looking over Charlie's Bunyan. So as far out, as far as out, as far out as I am going, I was climbing back up. Could be a dangerous slip. Look at that, that beautiful over in there. Man, the Lord has blessed me with some great weather here in the park. This is one of the ones I was worried would be. See so many people walk the AT and come out here and there's nothing but clouds blowing into here. I get this thing on a clear day. To myself. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Wow. You do some awesome handiwork. Really. Okay. I got 12 miles, 11 miles still laying ahead of me, so. There's a couple of more camera spots on the gut hook apps, so there's gonna be some more overlooks to get to. I've been here about 15 20 minutes now, so very beautiful to look at. Still got miles to make, more adventures to go. So here we go. Alrighty, Charlie's Bunyan, well worth it, well worth it. Alright, headed down and back down the AT. So, onward we go. There you go. Hot legs. Whoop, whoop. On there we go. Closely control children, because you will lose them over the edge. So this is the other end coming out. You walk around Charlie's Bunyan. Uh, you just back around that way, but if you're coming uh, southbound, this will be the first sign you'll see. But I want to stay true to the A-team. Let's stay on through like the Smokies. That's going to be I covered every inch of that A-T. So... Here we go, on down the trail. Let's see what other view that we get to see. Just past Charlie's Bunyan, another beautiful view. 
a little bit of water right on the trail if you need some water. So I would say still say get water at Ice Water Springs. Ooh wee, so pretty. So pretty. Look at there. Shadow of the mountain I'm on, casting a shadow on the other mountain. You know, all the reds out there as the trees have been turning. Part of me says you're not going to make any mileage today, and the other part of me says don't care. We are not guaranteed tomorrow for sure. Let's stop and take in God's handiwork. This little bitty out view window here to look out. Look down the valley. Got the Gatlin bird. I think it's Gatlin bird over there. Don't know. But it doesn't matter. Mercy, that's pretty. Uh, we're about a uh, mile and two tenths out, so here we go. Yep. It's going to be a long, beautiful day. Didn't walk 200 yards from where I was at last time. Even better view here. Ooh wee. Yeah, I was on these trees right here in front of me. Wow, so beautiful. Just standing here looking. Zoom up there. There we go. Ooh, oh, it's steady. Right there may be another start of how Charlie's Bunyan was formed. It was a heavy rain and landslide. Slipped off that and exposed all the rock. You can see that where the rock's been exposed there. So, anyway, pretty cool. Try to be real slow in my pan here. I got it zoomed all the way up. Up and over the mountains we go. There's trees with all the reds in them. Looking down. So we go from vast expanse views, walking a real narrow ridge. They're right back down into the forest on the side of this mountain. So we gotta go down to go up. Yeah, a little step down here. Oh. There we go. down that way and back up from that way is where we come from so here we go I love you I don't know how well the camera show up I call these little land bridges that we've been crossing This one's wider than most of them. The other one just a little over, probably two pass wide. Awesome. You'll fall in here between these little ranges. So pretty neat. And today has nothing been nothing but views for sure. down in there so you get them little windows you get to look out it's kind of how I look at it you don't get the big picture window some of them may be pretty small some are pretty big that uh one slip up you hope a tree stops you on where we go 
Here's another one of these I was talking about earlier. I'll take you through the window. You get a pretty nice view. So, as you're hiking, sometimes it's hard to keep the old head up on a swivel. But you see, we're going to the corridor. And you walk through there and you, you get these little views. So they may not be very big, the expanse views like Charlie's Bunyan. They are beautiful, very beautiful. Just cruising along here, look at the growth on this tree. Let's look up and see what that stuff is. Some of them are dark gray, or light gray, I'm sorry, and uh, get the brown ones. Pretty cool. Oh, there were some beetles. Some beetles bored in there. That one's got a lot of them on it. And yep, appears to be dying. So there's probably some beetle boring in there. Come up on this little opening, very beautiful. Looking out across the mountain range. All right, onward to uh, Pike's Corner, where I'm headed to. Got another four and a half miles, I believe. Get some water. I'll stop me at lunch before then. I'm gonna have to stop me anyway. So, very beautiful. shot for sure. Ooh, that's beautiful. Look at the clouds out there in the valley. Yep. Trekking pose where they won't fall. Zoom this baby up. There you go. How's that for a shot in the morning? Alright, on where we go. There you go guys. There's another view of looking at that valley with all the clouds in it. I don't know how their day is over under the clouds, but above them, it sure is beautiful. My wife and I did a one of our first backpacking trips together out here when we were in college. Cool. I've gotten to, of course, I've always been an outdoors person. As a kid, I, you know, we lived on a, a little two and a half acre spot there on the side of a hill in Henrietta and uh -huh. I think the term smiles above miles Ooh -wee. that is so beautiful looking down into the valley Ooh -wee. Bradley's view 216.9 on the Appalachian Trail from Springer. And wow, what a view, Bradley. Here's along here wondering how this trail was cut in when it was blasted. Then the answer is yes, there's a drill shaft. And they drilled and probably dynamited in that day. They shot it and didn't nothing up. Yep, there's another drill shaft marker. Pretty cool in here. Woo, here's a better view from the same spot. I just climbed up over the ledge and looked over. Yeah, about a lot of 
right there. The wind is nice and great. Beautiful sound. Wind out of the north. Blowing through the trees. Shooting video of those big old expansive views. Awesome sights in themselves. Then you crawl off the side here and there's another beauty. Look how that tree there is grown over an old stump. Isn't that freaking awesome? Seems like every square inch of this forest the tree is sprouted and I think that there may might have been blowed over earlier. We go you in the bottom of it. That one there it's life's over with. Very beautiful. All right, on over we go. This is the biggest bed of the stuff I've seen. It looks like a little bit of trees in there. I don't know what it is. Some type of fern or something or other. This whole hill, hillside down here is covered in it. All those dead trees and everything that's been blown over. Pretty amazing. It's 12.6 miles from uh, Ice Water Spring Shelter here to Tri Corner Knob Shelter. Water is good right at the shelter. Uh, Pex Corner, we had to go half a mile off to the shelter get water downhill and it's pretty steep so pretty good day and all in all